So, as Tony Mangan from MyWorldWalk.com walks along the road somewhere in Australia, this week, let's find out where's Tony? Then the creatures turned from the chase. The fish swam, the frogs hopped, the birds flew, the worms wriggled, the snakes slithered, and the lizards stood up and ran home to their own part of the river. Turn the page. By evening the river was peaceful again. When the shadows of the trees were long and dark upon the water and wind was sweeping ripples through the reeds, the creatures of the river fell asleep. That's the end of the story. From young people ahead in Mount Isa, thank you for coming to visit us today. So we're a youth organisation based in Mount Isa in northwest Queensland and we support young people at risk of homelessness as well as those disengaged from family and um, community. Uh, we also try to help them with their training and employment opportunities. Thank you very much Alvin and wonderful job you're doing here. I really appreciate uh, the invitation here. It's been an, an eye opener. Hi, I'm Tim Mose and I'm the principal of Mount Isa School of the Air. Um, Tony's in the middle of our school and it'll take him a couple of weeks to walk to the, the north of our school and a couple of weeks to walk to the south of our school because we cover all of Western Queensland. So we teach all the kids in that area and in the area probably 10 times the size of the United Kingdom, we still only have 160 children. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it, it, it's, this is pretty challenging because uh, I was talking to the woman in the, in the mail room and she says that so, occasionally there's um, flooding in the Northern Territories and these areas can be cut off and you guys have to plan weeks and sometimes months ahead. Yeah, we, we try and, and plan um, a term ahead, which is 10 weeks ahead, just to cover all, all the contingencies of, you know, mail planes breaking down or roads being flooded. Um, and so the kids get their work as an early Christmas present. Wow, fantastic job, Tim. Th thank you very much for the invite here right. today. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, and great job. So this is it. It's time to leave. I'm leaving uh, Mount Isa after nine nights there, and uh, had a most wonderful reception, the best reception in my travel career. And my friend here, Kim Marie Burton. <laughs> You've caught me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she has it's, been amazing. It's been an honor and a pleasure. She, uh, Kim Marie organized so many talks. She used contacts with um, people, places to stay, and, and um, words fail me. I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. That's Kim. quite all right, Tony, as long as you let people know all about Mount Isa. I will do. Mount Isa, the greatest place <laughs> in the world. Well, actually, it's the largest city in the world. You need to explain that. Well, for, for your viewers, the city boundaries of Mount Isa extend to approximately 84,000 square kilometres, which in actual fact is bigger than the whole country of Switzerland. And we only have a population of 20,000 people. Yeah. And this road that I'm walking on is the longest city street in the world? It's because the longest, it goes how far? Yes, it's in the Guinness Book of Records as the longest main street in the world. It extends 200 kilometres. And you are now going to walk to Kemmerwheel, which in actual fact is a suburb of Mount Isa, 200 kilometres away. So tell me one question. This is the longest city street in the world. Where's the next nightclub? Um, I think you better go to Darwin for that one. So if we're looking a little bit of a walk, 1,602 kilometers. And for my American viewers, that's a thousand miles. About that, yes. And um, so also the, 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 the mining uh, company in town, they, they mine far products. Yes, we mine copper, silver, lead and zinc. And our mine, which is called Mount Isa Mines, is owned by Glencore, which is a commodity trading company. Okay. Worldwide. 
Thank you, thank you so much, Kim Murray. Big well, it's a big place. pleasure to big have you. Place. Okay. Big <laughs> pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. So, now that we found out Tony has had a lovely Irish welcome and a huge Cade Mida Falta, let's find out next week where is Tony. Until then, thanks for watching.